Welcome back. So now that we have a screen sharing video on our timeline, we can now take a look at some other elements that we have on the left side panel. And in particular, we're going to take a look at the cursor effects. Now the cursor effects, if you click on that panel, you'll notice that there are three sections. And in the first section where the arrow is, or the cursor icon, you'll notice that you can actually put a cursor highlight into your video and that will be so that your cursor wherever it goes you'll have a highlight following it just like you see there. You can also have the cursor to magnify an area in other words to enlarge an area wherever it goes. You can have a cursor to spotlight an area or to show it by darkening the sides around it. Now some of the other effects inside of the cursor effects you'll notice there is a left click element so that every time that you left click an area of your video you'll have a certain effect. One would be rings, another would be a ripple as you can see here, another would be a scope, and another would be a target. And then there's also the wrap. Now one of the unique things about left clicking is that you can actually also place something in the sound area. So in other words, so that every time you left click something on your video, you can actually have it so that there will be a click to sound in the video. And you place that on the timeline just like you would anything else. You can also with your right click do the same thing. You can do rings, you can do ripple, you can do scope, you can target, you can do a wrap. You can also have a right click sound. So let's go back to the first panel. And now that we have a screen sharing video inside of our timeline, let's start with the cursor highlight. We're going to start on the beginning of the timeline. I'm just going to drag this cursor highlight to that area. You'll notice that now for the duration of the video, every place your cursor goes, there's going to be a yellow highlight to follow it. Right? You can actually adjust that in the properties area. So let's undo this by using the undo command. And then let's take a look at the magnify button. And we're just going to drag that down into the timeline. And so the cursor actually magnifies things. So we will see that when you have something and it's small, that the cursor will actually show it to be larger. Okay, so we're going to drag the cursor back and then we're going to undo this. And now we're going to do a spotlight. And you'll notice now that the cursor actually spotlights an area by making the rest around it dark. Okay, so we're going to undo this. We can also do left and right mouse click effects. We can drag this and actually we can drag in the click effect and you'll see it. So you'll notice there. So what you're actually seeing is you're seeing you can add things to your video and by adding those things what you're doing is you are really highlighting what's really happening and you're giving your viewer um, the opportunity to really be able to visualize and really become part of the video. This can be important when you're creating a tutorial video. Remember you can also emulate sound with a click and you'll hear this in the sample video when you actually play the video once it's actually rendered and ready. So what we're going to do now is we are going to render this video and we are going to title it so that you will have it as part of your example files so that you'll know what you're actually looking at. You're looking at some, well you'll know what effects that you can expect. You can expect to see a cursor highlight which we're going to put back here. You can expect to see a left click effect. You can even expect to see a right click. We're going to also implement sound and we're going to implement sound also. So what we're going to do to get this video ready, 
And we will go over this one element once we are actually in the editing stage of this course. We noticed that the video has a low audio. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the audio portion of this timeline. And what we're going to do is we're going to raise the audio. And we're going to do that by going over to the properties area and we're going to adjust the volume. And you'll see that the volume is rising. We can always go back and we can change the audio and re-render the video. But for now, we're going to raise the volume so that that volume will be higher when that video is made. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through the process of making the video. Now because we're going to go through this process with you in another video, we're going to do this off camera, but you will have this video as part of your files. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.